Mufti to do the live interviews in Swahili. Honorable Minister, without further ado, we wish to take you through several videos that are very important to show to our uh, um, tourists or t potential tourists that Tanzania is safe and several measures that have been taken before you launch the official stamp. Without further ado, I'd like to cue in the videos so that you can know what is going on in Tanzania before the launch. Cue in video. I think we're happy to start the flights three times a week and we build on that from there and we saw bookings come in rather quickly so it gave us a good feeling but uh, 200 passengers on the first flight given the circumstances in the world makes us very happy well here we are it's good to be back it feels like home again Tanzania unforgettable excited today to receive Qatar Airlines back to Dar es Salaam, Tanzania after a brief suspension due to COVID-19 pandemic. The Dar es Salaam route is the first of Qatar to be resumed and today their flight arrived with 119 passengers from different parts of the world, all connected through Doha. Tanzania is ready to receive our esteemed visitors back to yet another unforgettable experience. And that is why TTB is here today to observe how our national standard operating procedures are being adhered to. We are pleased to see that all safety protocols are being put in place, health workers and other health authorities and officials are taking necessary health precaution to ensure safety of our visitors as well as safety of our staff. I'm very happy to be in Tanzania, finally. This is the first flight with Qatar Airways directly almost from Oslo. And I feel that the, the safety measures, they are very thorough. And uh, uh, the safety measures, they are uh, good. You come here and uh, you have a lot of people who take care of you and uh, you also have uh, measurements with temperature uh, application or uh, forms and uh, it seems that uh, Tanzania put a lot of effort to make this a safe uh, uh, arrival for everyone. I was very uh, pleased to see that uh, the, airport, the airport was taking precautions of hand sanitizers and the stickers on the floors about social distancing. It's very good to see that to make sure that everybody stays healthy and safe. We came here to Tanzania to enjoy a safari. We wanted to see unique nature and to, to try to see safari. Uh, in Gujar Island, we are going to try get some food and spend some time with family and just enjoy our holidays. And... We wanted to either be Zanzibar, go to the beach, enjoy the scenery a little bit more. And also the people, they are very lovely people. I think that's the most important thing about Tanzania. I heard uh, you have a good situation about COVID uh, and that's why we choose Tanzania for traveling. I've been really impressed with the way the airport's handled the COVID and stuff and I feel safer than I thought I would have felt. Everybody is having a mask and sanitization is good, so yeah, we're very safe. Now, for your guys, you are hand to hand now, at least for a guy, you are for the first idea. The airport's a lot bigger, so you can handle that situation a lot better. And there's temperature checks, so you know that everything's being scanned in. That keeps you safe and protected. 
I would encourage everyone to come to Tanzania. I think the country and the airport is prepared to receive everyone. And I think people are taking the, the right precautions in terms of safety. Tanzania is unforgettable. I stand my heart always. Tanzania is unforgettable. so much. Um, this is courtesy of um, True Vision, but also it's the effort that Tanzania Tourist Board, together with other partners, both private and public sector, we have put together through this uh, world pandemic to make sure that we, don't not, we do not just adhere the protocols of hygiene and safety, but we show the world that we are safe and it's a safe destination to visit. Honorable Minister, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, uh, before I invite the host of this event, Madam Mbachi, to give her remarks, I wish to also recognize both public and private sector that are here joining us today. I recognize only the media that are here with us, but after that, I do not recognize the public sector that is with us. Together with, um, with the board of directors of Tanzania Tourist Board, I see also um, ATC, uh, our airline, I see Tower, I recognize. I also recognize AICC. And um, together with them, I recognize also private sector um, that are also seated here with you, Honorable Minister. So in due course, I think um, um, MD and together with other distinguished, they will be able to uh, have a word with you during refreshment time. Um, now, without now, further ado, we will get to the program. The next item on the program, the program is a welcome remarks. remarks. These remarks are given by the Managing Director of the Tourist Board. Just to tell us why we are here today. 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 Minister of Natural Resources and Tourism, Honorable Constantine Panyasu, Deputy Minister, Ministry of Natural Resources and Tourism, representatives from foreign embassies, high commissions, and consulates of Tanzania, Dr. Alois Nzuki, Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Natural Resources and Tourism, Honorable Judge Thomas Mihayo, Chairman of the Tanzania Tourist Board of Directors, TTB Board Directors, Mr. Richard Rugimbana, Executive Secretary, Tourism Confederation of Tanzania, representatives from the private sector, members of the media, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, all protocols observed. A very warm welcome to you, to the Tanzania Tourist Board. On behalf of TTB, I'm delighted to welcome you today, again, to the Utali House, Tanzania Tourist Board's home for yet another memorable event, Karibu Nisana. Honorable Minister, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, during COVID-19 pandemic, TTB worked as a team with stakeholders from both the private and public sectors to promote Destination Tanzania locally and internationally. Our main task was to ensure that as a destination, we continue to remain unforgettable on the world tourism map. Since March this year, TTB has hosted several online meetings with key tourism stakeholders, including Tanzanian ambassadors and high commissioners, travel agencies in our major tourist source markets, and international media companies. These meetings aimed at reassuring the world that Tanzania is safe and ready to receive tourists from all over the world, and to inform our, them of measures that the government of Tanzania and the private sector have jointly put into place to see Tanzania remain as a safe destination. As a result, we have seen Tanzania's tourism open up again. Airlines resuming their flights to Tanzania, travel agencies from our source markets come to Tanzania to witness how Tanzania is ready to receive their clients and an encouraging number of excited and happy tourists come to Tanzania and leave with unforgettable memories. Honorable Minister, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, in an effort to make sure that Destination Tanzania is safe, TTB visited and inspected several tourism sites, hotels and lodges, airports, and tour operators after the launching of our national standard operating procedures. 
we are proud today to see that Tanzania is among other countries that have been considered and approved to be safe to travel to by the World Travel and Tourism Council, WTTC. We hope that the stamp will be used by all in the Tanzanian tourism industry, as well as our partners in the major source markets to show to the world that Tanzania is safe and ready and waiting for them. Once again, we welcome our guest here at CTB Utali House. Let us all work together to continue promoting Destination Tanzania and ensuring that we give our visitors an experience like they have never had before because Tanzania is truly unforgettable. Thank you for listening. Another round of applause for the Managing Director of Tanzania Tourism Board. Tanzania Tourism Board, Madame Board of Dachi, Tanzania. thank you so much for your welcoming with us. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Honorable Minister, Distinguished Guests, we now take this opportunity to welcome the Chair of the Board of Tourism, Honorable Judge Thomas Mihayo, to give his remarks. Honorable Judge, the podium is yours. Karibu sana. Honorable Hamisi, Dr. Hamisi Kigwangara, Minister of Natural Resources and Tourism. Honorable Constantini Kanyasu, Deputy Minister, Minister of Natural Resources and Tourism. Representatives from foreign embassies and high commissions in Tanzania, Dr. Alois Izuki, Permanent Secretary, Minister of Natural Resources and Tourism, Ms. Devota Mdachi, Managing Director of the Tanzania Tourism Board, Mr. Richard Rugimbana, Executive Secretary, Tourism Confederations of Tanzania, TTB Board members, I see. Uh, Mr. Lai, I Lai, I see Richard Rugimbana, I see Ibrahim, and um, and Reveri, sorry. Tourism stakeholders, members of the press, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. First and foremost, I would like to thank God the Almighty for the gift of life, allowing us to meet today to witness the launch of safe travel stamp received from the World Travel and Tourism Council. The World Travel and Tourism Council based in, is based in the United Kingdom represents the global private sector travel and tourism with a mission to ensure the sector is seamless secure, safe, inclusive, and sustainable. WTTC raises awareness of travel and tourism's value, not just as one of the world's largest economic sectors, but also to the many communities and travelers enriched through their experiences. This safe travel stamp is an assurance to the world that Tanzania is a safe destination and implements all necessary measures to prevent the spread of coronavirus to both residents and visitors. The process of getting this stamp involved great efforts from the private sectors diligently abiding to the SOPs launched by, by you, Honorable Minister, in early June and a great team from Minister of Natural Resources and Tourism, TTB, High Commission of the United Republic of Tanzania in London. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, may I take a moment to explain a few benefits of having the safe travel stamp that will soon be launched by the guest of honor, Dr. Habis Gigwangara, as follows. This stamp identifies Tanzania in the world as a country implementing safe travel and the tourism guidelines in the COVID-19 era. The presence of a safe travel stamp will facilitate the restoration of a tourism business in Tanzania, increase foreign exchange earnings, 
the number of tourists arri arriving in Tanzania through commercial, medical, and leisure tourism. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to the 51st government through our leader, His Excellency Dr. John Pombe Joseph Magufuli, President of the United Republic of Tanzania, for standing firm and giving us great courage in fighting against COVID-19 pandemic. We are all aware that the whole world in one way or another has been affected by COVID-19 pandemic politically, economically, and socially. But despite all this, life must continue and the tourism business must grow. During this pandemic, our primary responsibility was to ensure that Tanzania continues to be significant so that when the world reopens, our country will be the first to receive large groups of tourists. We have already begun to witness this. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, in a special way, I would like to extend my appreciation to the following officials for their tireless efforts in ensuring and securing the safe travel stamp. Honorable Dr. Asha Rose Migiro, High Commissioner, High Commissioner of the United Rep Republic of Tanzania in London. Rose Gitandula, Minister Councillor, High Commissioner of the United Republic of Tanzania, London. Dr. Alois Nzuki, Permanent Secretary, Minister of Natural Resources and Tourism. Mr. Philip Chitaunga, Director of Tourism, Department in the Ministry of Natural Resources and Tourism. Mr. Votam Dachi, TTB Managing Director. And Ms. Mindy Kasiga, here too, Principal Public Relations Officer. But I'm reliably informed that she has been confirmed as Director of Tourism. Applause to her. Director of Marketing, sorry. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the major task ahead of us is to maintain the status that Tanzania is safe, thus attracting more tourists to our country. On behalf of the Board of Directors, the Tanzania Tourist Board assures you that we will promote this status vigorously to the world. Thank you for listening. I would now like to welcome the Permanent Secretary, Minister of Natural Resources and Tourism, to give, to give his remarks. Naam, na sasa anaingia naibu. Thank you so much, uh, Honorable Justice Thomas Mihayo. Honorable Minister, of Natural Resources and Tourism, Dr. Hamisi Kibwangala, uh, Honorable Deputy Minister, Constantin Kanyasu, Board Chair, once again, Honorable Justice Thomas Mihayo. We do have uh, distinguished uh, guests here, and Honorable Minister, if you allow me, I want to recognize very important uh, individuals that have joined us, have joined the tourism fraternity this morning to um, uh, grace the occasion. And if you allow me, may I uh, introduce and uh, ask uh, the following to raise so that they be recognized. Uh, first and foremost, my brother Diamond Platinum, please would you raise Thank you, thank you for joining the tourism fraternity and the tourism fraternity in its broader sense. Um, its broader meaning, wa Tanzania Safari Channel uh, arts and music and, uh, pia everything. Mbali mbali so that wa muziki, is the fraternity of the tourism katika, industry. Hafla hi. Allow me to uh, introduce you Diamond to Platinum's Nasib Abduli Kutoka. Thank you for joining us this na thank you so ni official Zuchu uh, ambaye Next is pia uh, Harmonize, I saw, I saw him. Na mungine pia ni yes, Harmonize, thank you so much. Thank you for joining us this morning. Katika hafla pia. Uh, we have uh, Milad Magese. Na pia Milad kuna Magese. 
na pia Lilian Magese ambaye ni mwanamitindo wa kimataifa kutoka Tanzania pia amehudhuria katika hafla hii legendary artist the reason i pose to introduce you is because we value so much we know you add value to to the tourism industry thank you so much uh excellencies uh, here present this this morning um I've seen uh, a number of uh, chief executive officers. Uh, I've seen uh, engineer Matindi, Air Tanzania, wherever you are. Yes, please. Um, CEOs from uh, Tourism uh, uh, Tanzania Wildlife Authority. I've seen uh, Deputy Commissioner Nkui. Thank you so much. I've seen a number of uh, CEOs also, uh, Air Tanzania, sorry, uh, AICC, my brother. Thank you so much. Um, National Museums, thank you so much. In the interest of time, let me just recognize uh, your presence. And uh, next is uh, Mr. Richard Rugimbana, CEO of Tanzania, uh, Tourism Confederation of Tanzania. I've seen Mr. Rugimbana. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Uh, members of uh, media, distinguished guests, Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Honorable Minister, my task this morning is simply to welcome you uh, to address this gathering on this very important occasion. However, allow me to say one or two words before I actually uh, invite you to the podium. First and foremost, today's event marks a very important, uh, it's a very important day in the history of the tourism industry in Tanzania. As we might remember or as we will be aware, one of those factors that prospective visitors consider when they plan their trips, the number one factor that they consider is safety. Price comes number four, but safety will be number one. They will have all the money to go to a place. But that question that they will ask the first and foremost is, will I be safe? If I go to that destination seated on the plane, will I come back home seated on the plane or will I come back, back home in a wooden box? That's the question that they will always want an answer to. And today's event, Honorable Minister, provides that answer. The, the very important a $1 million question is answered today. That is, Tanzania is a safe place. Tanzania is a safe destination to go to. So this uh, is a huge milestone in the history of uh, Tanzania's tourism. Honorable Minister, Allow me to invite to the, to, the, to the podium three individuals here. And there's a point that I want to make, a very important point that I want to make. I want to invite to the podium uh, my brother, Engineer Matindi. Please, would you join me to the front? Secondly, I want to invite Mr. Richard Rugimbana, wherever you are. Could you please join me to the front? And Miss Devota Mdachi, would you please join me? to the front. The point I want to make, Honorable Minister, is this. These three individuals represent, represent what I call a holy trinity of tourism industry. Without these three, the organization they represent, without you know, them being working together, the tourism industry is never complete. The operators, Mr. Rudimbana represents the Tourism Confederation of Tanzania and it comprises, of, uh, comprises uh, about 13, 14 uh, trade, trade associations. They may go out there, spend their little money promoting, but it, never, it will never be successful if Tanzania Tourist Board is not there, if the national airline is not there. The Tanzania Tourist Board will go their own way, promoting the destination, 
but where are these people how are they going to come to tanzania they need transportation where are they gonna you know spend uh you know overnight or s sleep in uh, accommodation uh, facilities they will need those accommodation facilities and mr Rugimbana represents that sector of the market but all these two can do their job the the, the operators can do their job the Tanzania Tourist Board can do their job, but if we do not have a national airline, we are losing revenue. We are losing money. We are we are losing non-tax revenue. This is why you know the three of them together make up what I call a holy trinity of the tourism industry. And I want to thank you so much, uh, uh, lady and, and gentlemen. I know that you are helping us so much. You are working together. Uh, I want to thank, uh, personally, I want to thank Engineer Matindi. He's been very responsive. His strategies are very responsive. He will always seek our advice when they are planning their routes and so on and so forth. Because airlines or planes don't simply fly to those destinations, but they fly there because there is a, there's a business to, uh, there's demand. That, and most of that demand would be visitors. Cargo comes second, but visitors will be the key uh, uh, market or the key business that will keep the airline afloat. So I wanted to recognize them and uh, to thank them for the good uh, working relationship that they are, we, are, we are working together on. And uh, as I said last week, Honorable Minister, one of those good uh, examples of us working together is the result of today's event where we had the operators the private sector working together with us to see to it that the destination is safe and today honorable minister is the culmination of that effort i want to thank you so much uh, ladies and gentlemen thank you so much before i uh, exit the podium let me finally want to thank uh, the Minister of Health and uh, I want to thank uh, the, the Permanent Secretary Minister of Health for the tireless efforts in the last few weeks I have worked together with him tirelessly to ensure that this destination sends the right signal to the prospective markets. That is, Tanzania is safe. Remember, the, the, the fraternity, the tourism fraternity will remember that we came from travel advisories number one, number two, number three, and then there was the travel advisory number four. When that travel advisory number four was released, the whole industry was paralyzed. And as I said last week, I received a lot of phone calls and texts to ask me to speak to, the, to my counterpart in the Ministry of Health, to ask them to really consider the position of the tourism industry. And I'm, I'm glad to say that I worked tirelessly, you know, every time I would bother, you know, my counterpart in the Ministry of Health to make sure that this uh, travel advisory number four is lessened a little bit because though there are the facts tanzania has sailed through this uh, pandemic and we are a destination that uh, that is safe this is why today we join only few other countries i think three other sub-saharan -Sub uh, africa countries to receive this uh, safe travels uh, certification so i want to thank uh, the, the, the permanent secretary in the Ministry of Health for, uh, for his assistance, making sure that this industry uh, once again uh, is ready to receive visitors and to send the right message to the public that t Tanzania is a safe destination. Honorable Minister, this event is not mine and I'm not contesting for any a uh, member of parliament position. So, without further ado, Honorable Minister, it is now my privilege and singular honor to invite you to the podium 
to make a statement at this very important occasion. Sorry, I'm reminded here, I forgot to recognize uh, Nam, one of those uh, very important people in this, uh, tourism industry Mgeni Rasmi ambaye ni waziri wa mali asili na utalii uh, Tanzania Dr. Hamisi Kigangala ili aweze kutoa uh, National College of Tourism Dr. Shogo Mlozi please She works in the in the in the in the backstage We don't see her in the front as we do uh, to Miss Devota but the product that she's producing is the one that is ensuring visitors their safety and their well-being. Sorry, I forgot to recognize you, Dr. Shogo. So without further ado, Honorable Minister, the podium is yours. Na hivi sasa anaingia waziri wa mali asili na utalii Dr. Hamisi Kigungala kutoa hotuba yake katika uzinduzi huu wa mhuri wa Safe Travels ambao unatolewa na World Tourism and Travel Council kutoka Uingereza. John Kanyasu, the Deputy Minister, Minister of Natural Resources and Tourism, Dr. Alois Sinzuki, the Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Natural Resources and Tourism, Honorable Judge Thomas Mihayo, the Chairman of the Tanzania Tourist Board of Directors, Directors, uh, members of the board, uh, Ms. Devota Mdachi, Managing Director of the Tanzania Tourist Board, Mr. Richard Rugimbana, the Executive Secretary of the Tourism Confederation of Tanzania, uh, tourism stakeholders, members of the press, distinguished guests, and here I would like to specially recognize our ambassadors for Tanzania Tourism, uh, as earlier on, also recognized by the Permanent Secretary, Dr. Nzuki, uh, would again reiterate by recognizing Mr. Diamond Platinums, the CEO of Wasafi, his management including Salam, uh, Ms. Zuchu, and as well the Conde Gang CEO, Mr. Harmonize, and your team. And another ambassador is Ms. Milen Magese, uh, all the way from the United States of America, and all other CEOs that have been in, invited to grace this important occasion. And especially I would like to recognize the presence of the HEC uh, Executive Director, Mr. Engineer Ladislaus Matimbi, and the CEO of the AICC Garuta International Conference Center, Mr. Kaaya and Shilia, and as well members from the private sector as represented by the TCT Executive Director, Mr. Richard Rugimbana. I see representation from the IAT, uh, from the Serena Hotel, and all these other important stakeholders in our sector. Uh, you are all specially recognized. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, good afternoon. Uh, before I continue delivering my speech in English, I was keen enough to prepare a Swahili version that is going to be presented by the Deputy Minister, uh, Honorable Constantine John Kanyasu. So I would like to now leave the stage for him to deliver the Swahili version of my speech. It's a very short, a short speech, and, uh, and mine as well is very short. So I would rather uh, uh, present uh, both of them. Uh, please, you're welcome. Habari za sasa hivi. Mheshimiwa Waziri Dr. Hamisi Kigwangala, Mheshimiwa Katibu Mkuu Dr. Aloy Nzuki, mwenyekiti wetu wa board, Judge Mstafu Thomas Mihayo kurugenzi wa bodi ya utalii Devota Mdach ndugu Richard Dugimbana katibu mtendaji wa shirikisho la vyama vya utalii Tanzania ndi wajumbe wa bodi wadau wetu na wabalozi wetu wote wa utalii lakini pia wa Tanzania wote ambao wanatutazama habari za mchana Mheshimiwa Waziri 
e, kwa niaba ya Watanzania wengi ambao hawasiki mayai naomba ni nitoe tafsiri ya ujumbe wa Mheshimiwa Waziri kwa lugha ya Watanzania Awali ya yote napenda sana kumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu mwingi wa leema kwa kutuwezesha wote pamoja kukutana hapa siku ya leo nao furaha sana kushuhudia hatua hii katika tasnia yetu ya utalii Tanzania nawakaribisha washirika wetu wote kutoka baraza la wasafiri na utalii duniani yani World Travel and Tourism Council ambao wameungana nasi muda huu kwa njia ya mawasiliano ya mtandao tunawashukuru kwa kutunga mkono na kuipatia Tanzania matumizi ya muhuri wa usalama kwa wasafiri ambao ulipokelewa tarehe 22 Julai mwaka 2020 ndugu wageni waalikwa mabibi na mabwana kwa namna ya kipekee napenda kumshukuru sana mheshimiwa dr John Pombe Magufuli rais wa Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania kuongozi wake mahiri na juhudi zilizozihirishwa kwa nchi yetu kupambana na janga la COVID-19 kwa kupitia hatua alizochukua ameonesha uongozi imara si tu kwa nchi yetu bali pia kwa dunia nzima jinsi ya kukabiliana na janga hili zaidi ya hayo uamuzi wake wa kufungua mipaka yetu huku tukichukua hatua thabiti za kudhibiti janga hili na kuifanya Tanzania salama ndio sababu kuu ambayo imetufanya kuwa hapa leo na kupewa uh, kutumia muhuri wa usaf, usalama kwa wasafiri ndugu waliko mabibi na bwana ninayo furaha na kukupongeza dr Aloys Nzuki katibu wetu mkuu mpya wa Wizara ya Maliasi na Utalii pamoja na timu yote kutoka taasisi na wizara na wadau wengine wote ambao kwa pamoja juhudi zenu zimetufikisha uh, zimetuwezesha kuitangaza Tanzania ndani na nje nchi. Kazi yenu nzuri katika tasnia hii inatambulika na kupongezwa sana. Nilifarijika kufahamu kwamba kipindi cha janga la COVID-19 hamkubaki kimya bali mliendelea kushirikiana na balozi za Tanzania nje ya nchi kuifikia dunia na kuitangaza kuitangazia utalii wa Tanzania. Kama mnavyokumbuka mapema mwezi Juni mwaka huu nilipozindua mwongozo wa namna bora ya kuendesha shughuli za utalii wakati wa janga la COVID-19 SOP nilizungumza kuhusu umuhimu wa kuutaarifu ulimwengu kwamba Tanzania ni salama. Nina furaha leo kuona juhudi hizo zimezaa matunda. Na heshima kubwa asubuhi ya leo kuzindua rasmi matumizi ya muhuri salama kwa wasafiri uliotolewa na taasisi kubwa na inayotambulika na kuaminiwa duniani kuweka uelewa wa wasafiri na watalii wanaopenda kuitembelea nchi yetu kwamba Tanzania ni salama kwa kuzingatia miongozo ya usalama na afya iliyotolewa. Ndugu wageni waalikwa mimi na bwana kwa wadau wetu wa sekta ya utalii napenda kutangaza kwamba Tanzania sasa imeorodheshwa kuwa miongoni mwa vivutio vilivyo salama duniani na imethibitishwa kutumia muhuri uliotolewa na baraza hilo sambamba na utambulisho wetu wa nchi ya unforgettable Tanzania destination logo matumizi ya muhuri huu safe travel stamp ni muhimu kwa kujenga tena imani kwa wasafiri na watalii duniani kote na kwamba wasafiri wanahakikishiwa miongozo ya usalama na usafi inazingatiwa na hivyo wapo salama wanapokuja Tanzania vile vile matumizi ya muhuri huu yatathibitishia wadau watalii kwamba Tanzania ni salama kwa wageni kujenga matumaini jipya kwa watalii na kutekeleza sera na miongozo ili kurejesha imani itakayoimarisha tasnia ya utalii Tanzania. Nawashukuru wadau wote wa utalii Tanzania kwa ushirikiano mlioutoa katika kutekeleza yaliyomo katika mwongozo na kufanya shughuli ya utalii wakati wa janga la COVID-19 ikiwa katika mambo yaliyowezesha kupata muhuri huu. Matumizi ya muhuri huu unaozinduliwa leo ni kwa ajili yetu sote. Serikali wadau katika sekta ya utalii wa Tanzania wote kwa ujumla ni jukumu letu kukuza na kuendeleza utalii wetu kwa juhudi na maarifa mahali popote duniani na wasihi kutumia muhuri huu kwa kama fursa ya kupata watalii wengi katika kipindi hiki ambapo nchi nyingi bado hazijafungua mipaka yao kwa utalii sasa ni wa, sasa ni waombe mheshimiwa katibu mkuu nasoma message ya waziri kwa hiyo na mimi nimejikuta niko hapa <laughs> kwa pamoja tushike jarada letu na nitumie nafasi baada ya kusema hii watu wangu kwa kifupi uh, niseme tu kwamba Tanzania ni salama na matumizi ya muhuri wa usalama kwa wasafiri kutoka baraza la wasafiri na watalii duniani sasa 
ya mizinduliwa. Mshumu waziri, karibu sana. Uh, first and foremost, I wish to thank our Almighty God for granting us this day and the wonderful opportunity to gather with you all good people here today at TTB in good health. And it gives me great pleasure to witness this important milestone in our travel uh, and tourism industry in Tanzania. I welcome all our partners from the World Travel and Tourism Council who have also joined us in this occasion through video live streaming. We thank you for your support and for granting Tanzania the safe travel stamp that was received on the 22nd of July 2020. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, in a very special way, I wish to thank His Excellency Dr. John Pombe Magufuli, the President of the United Republic of Tanzania, for his sound leadership and efforts demonstrated by our country to fight COVID-19 pandemic. Through his actions, he has provided leadership not just in our country, but also to the world on how to fight this particular pandemic. Furthermore, his decision to reopen our borders while taking strong measures to control the pandemic has made us to be granted the safe travel stamp here today. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I'm grateful to congratulate Dr. Alois Mzuki, the Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Natural Resources and Tourism, and the entire team of the institutions under the ministry, as well as tourism stakeholders, for your tireless efforts in promoting tourism inside and outside of our country. Your incredible work in this industry is noted and is highly appreciated. I'm happy to learn that during this COVID-19 period, you did not remain silent, but you kept on and found a way of cooperating with Tanzanian ambassadors outside the country in reaching the entire world to promote destination Tanzania. As you remember, early June this year, when launching the National Standard Operating Procedures for Tourism Industry, I mentioned about the importance of informing the world that Tanzania is safe, and I'm very happy today to eyewitness the positive impact which those efforts have brought. It is with great pleasure this morning to officially launch the Safe Travel Stamp granted by this renowned institution, which creates awareness to travelers and tourists who wish to visit different destinations worldwide, endorsing on destination Tanzania is safe while adhering to the established health and safety protocols. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, to all our stakeholders in the tourism industry, I'm pleased to announce that Tanzania now is listed as a safe destination among other destinations in the world and is certified with an authority to use the stamp alongside with our unforgettable Tanzania destination logo. The stamp is vital to reestablish worldwide consumer confidence in travel and tourism because travelers can be sure that in enhanced standards of hygiene are in place for them to be able to travel safely to Tanzania. Let us all use this stamp to assure stakeholders and tourists that Tanzania is safe for visitors, rebuild trust in our guests, and implement policies and guidelines in place to restore their confidence in strengthening the tourism industry. I'm grateful to all Tanzanian tourism stakeholders for putting into practice the national guidelines for tourism activities in Tanzania the SOPs, which has assisted in obtaining this stamp. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, this stamp launched here today is for all of us, the government, the tourism stakeholders, and all Tanzanians. It is our responsibility to boost our tourism sector with all the energy and vigor anywhere in the world. I urge you to use this stamp as an opportunity to obtain many more tourists during the pandemic, where other countries still have not opened their boundaries for tourism. I now ask the Deputy Minister, the Permanent Secretary, the Deputy Permanent Secretary, 
of the Ministry of Natural Resources and Tourism, the chairman, the chairman of the TTB, the managing director of TTB, the executive secretary of TCT, to join me here and launch the stamp issued by the WTTC on your all behalf. Na mpenzi mtazamaji wa Tanzania Safari Channel, hivi sasa Mheshimiwa Waziri Hamisi Kigwangala anazindua ule muhuri wa safe, travel, safe Travels ambao umetolewa na World Travel and Tourism Council uh, akiwa pamoja uh, na Board of Directors wa, wa Tanzania Hello, Tourism Minister, Board. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, as the front row has stood before us, I request Hosa to give them the folders. And Honorable Minister, I will request that you all hold the folders for a photo opportunity. While at the back on the big screen, ladies and gentlemen, we have prepared animation of how now the safe travel stamp will be used alongside with Unforgettable Tanzania uh, logo so that we can all see. And this stamp is for all of our publications to be used. I invite Honorable Minister to say the words. I'll hold it for you. I'll hold it for you. Tanzania is safe in the use of safe travel stamp from the World Travel and Tourism Council is now officially launched. Tanzania unforgettable. Another round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, and this signifies that together we have all launched the use of the stem. If I can have one more time, they show the folders where we can get the background. Please, photographers, this is your moment. I've created this moment just for you guys. So I have to see the folders and see the beautiful smile on the faces. I know Mr. Honorable Minister, you have a smile on your face. But for this one, I will show you a smile. You see? 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 Uh, since this stamp is also for private sector, I wish to also create another photo opportunity for our ladies and gentlemen from the press to signify that this stamp is not only owned by the government, but it's for private sector. So on behalf of private sector, Honorable Minister, kindly join hands or shake hands with Mr. Rugimbana to show that you have given also the stamp to the private sector. And yes, we can clap. <laughs> and together with that, I think you also have invitation to have others to join. Okay, and for those um, special guests that the minister has requested that you join on behalf of tourism to broadcast and entertainment industry. So if we can have all of the invited guests by the minister, um, uh, Diamond Platinum, please lead the CEO of Wasafi. Uh,
watu aliwambatana nao na walioalikwa katika hafla hii uh, na sasa hivi ameingia msanii um, maarufu hapa Tanzania na msanii um, maarufu wa kimataifa Diamond Platinums yes, akipiga picha na waziri wa maliasili na utalii ambaye pia they are caring Tanzania once they Tanzania. go beyond our borders to play their music or in the entertainment fashion and industry um, they always carry the Tanzania unforgettable destination with them so I now welcome Zuchu. Zuchu is she's an upcoming uh, artist. We thank you for your Zuchu presence and your beautiful smile. Obviously. Na pia thank you. Now, Mr. Salam, thank you so much for being here with us. Na hivi sasa anaingia Mr. Salam SK ambaye pia ni manager wa msanii Diamond Platinums kutoka Wasafi. Anapiga picha na waziri wa mali na utalii pale. Tunaona wageni hali kadhalika wengi so wamefika katika hafla hii. Um, also we have uh, Harmonize. Pia msanii Harmonize, Harmonize, Harmonize kutoka uh, Konde Boy. Pia anafika hapa na kupiga picha na nasalimiana na waziri. These are the people who are carrying our flag, especially the flag of Tanzania, to show the world through their entertainment industry that Tanzania is indeed unforgettable. Ya Tanzania, uh, uh, ku, now uh, I'd na like to also call Lady Milen, pia, Lady Milen Magesa. Pia Milen Magesa through her work, alikuwa Miss Tanzania mwaka 2021 uh, na pia ni mwanamitindo wa kimataifa kutokea Marekani na yeye pia ni uh, Milen Magese pia ni ni balozi wa utalii hapa Tanzania pia akipata picha na waziri wa mali na utalii Thank you so much uh, honorable minister uh, these are the people behind the uh, behind the uh, behind the curtain that have been so those are representative from the inter entertainment center entertainment industry now from the public sector from the public sector i'd like to call upon the ceo of aacc the ceo of ta i think i've seen tower air tanzania mpenzi mtazamaji wa tanzania safari channel na hivi sasa ana oh deputy minister too anakuja uh, watu kutoka taasisi mbalimbali uh, ikiwemo uh, ya Tanzania pamoja na muona CEO wa AICC ambao ni Arusha International Conference, Conference Center pia anapata picha na mheshimiwa waziri Hamisi Kigwangala pale These are representatives from the public sector that together have worked tirelessly to make sure that Tanzania obtain the safe travel stamp. And together we will work to promote the stamp across the border of Tanzania. Asante Nisana. Now with a very special, uh, yes, um, before hoteliers, because since the chair of the board was there, I'd like to call upon chair of the board together with board members. I understand among us there are board members. This is a um, very special consideration. These are the people who have been giving us marching orders. We don't sleep. If they cough, we catch a sneeze. That is Tanzania Tourism Board, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Now I would like to call upon a representative from the private sector again. I see hoteliers, I've seen Serena and others in the hotel industry and airline industry, I believe. Kosota as well, I've seen Kosota.
And for those invited guests who did not get the, uh, the folder, inside the folder there is also um, SOPs which have been launched by the minister a um, couple months ago, but we have reprinted them for this special occasion with the logo on it. So make sure before you leave you have your folder with the stamp, but also with the SOP book. Can we, did we get all of them? This is a large group. Did you get all of them? I think they got. They say less. Okay, okay. Technology. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I thank you, Honorable Minister. Please. Okay. Kabla kabla sijaenda kukaa najua kizungu kigumu sana. Sema nimeona toa wa dada ndo walikuwa wanakipatia patia. Like sisi wanyamwezi kutoka huko mikoani tunajiumauma tu hapa. Lakini haswa haswa lengo la hii nembo na ndio maana tumefanya kuwa na event hii kubwa uh, ni kuitambulisha nchi yetu kwamba ni destination salama ni nchi chache sana ambazo zimefanikiwa kupata hii nembo ya safe travels. Kwa hivyo ni nembo ya fahari kwenye sekta ya utalii kwa zama tulizopo. Na hii itatoa confidence kwa wageni huko nje kabla hawajaja hapa watakapoiona kwenye matangazo yetu ya utalii. Kwa hivyo kuanzia sasa video zetu, picha zetu tutaweka nembo ya safe travels. Mtu akiona tu hiyo nembo ataamini kwamba Tanzania ni salama. Kwa hivyo atapata uh, confidence ya kubuku safari yake kuja Tanzania. Uh, kwa hivyo inatoa wito kwa wadau wote waliofanikiwa kuhudhuria kwenye sherehe hii na wale ambao hawakuhudhuria kuitumia nembo hii kwa kadri inavyowezekana. Kwa hivyo mabalozi wetu kama wasanii ambao mna followership kubwa kwenye mitandao, watu mashuhuri kwenye videos ambazo mnatoa uh, kwa ajili ya shughuli mbalimbali ambazo mnafanya kwenye picha ambazo mnatoa mabango ambayo mnatoa mnaruhusa ya kutumia hii nembo ya safe travels ukiweka tu pale mtu atakuja kuhudhuria kwenye event yako akiamini kwamba upo katika nchi ambayo ni salama na kiukweli Tanzania ni salama tunaendelea na juhudi zetu katika maeneo mbalimbali kwenye entertainment industry kwenye mikutano safari za ndege kwenye mahoteli kwenye hifadhi kwenye fukwe kote mambo yanaendelea ba ukitembea jioni Dar es Salaam nightlife imerudi kama ilivyokuwa kabla ya ugonjwa wa corona na hii ni dalili kwamba tuko salama tusinge kuwa salama maana yake tungeshuhudia watu wakilazwa mamia kwa maelfu kwenye mahospitali tungeshuhudia misiba kila kona lakini dalili kwamba hatuna misiba Hatuna watu waliolazwa kwenye mahospitali inaonesha kwamba nchi yetu ni salama na corona haipo. Hata kama zimebaki pockets za hapa na pale lakini sio significant. Na ndio maana juzi zuchu wamefanya event hakuna aliyogua corona pale. Watu wameenjoy, wamemwangalia binti anafanya mambo yake. Wamerudi nyumbani wamepumzika na baada ya hapo hakuna mtu aliyogua. Wiki iliyopita tumeona Alikiba amefanya tamasha kule Mtwara na anajipanga kwenda kufanya lingine huko Kigoma. Watu wako salama, maisha yanaendelea. Harmonize kafanya tamasha kule Dodoma, maelfu ya watu wamekusanyika. Kila kitu kinaenda vizuri. Hakuna baada ya pale tungetarajia tuanze kuona maambukizi. Hakuna. Uh, Bahati nzuri mimi ni mtaalamu wa afya ya jamii. Kwa hivyo haya ni mambo yangu. Katika hali yoyote ile baada ya event kubwa kama hizi wanazofanya wasanii ama ile tuliyofanya sisi CCM kwenye chama chetu pale Dodoma tungeanza kushuhudia kiwango cha maambukizi kuongezeka kama kweli kungekuwa kuna watu ambao wameambukizwa katika mikutano ile ama katika hizi events ambazo zimepita kwa hivyo tumeona tuwaalike hawa wasanii na watu mashuhuri ili mtu pia anayetuona apate ile picha asidhani kwamba hii 
ni jambo la serikali peke yake ama ni jambo la utalii peke yake hapana linahusu kila mtanzania ambaye yupo kwenye entertainment industry kwenye hizi sekta za burudani kwenye sekta za mapumziko kwenye sekta za mikutano uh, siasa kila kona ya maisha ya mwanadamu na ndio watu wetu wengi wapo huko kwa hivyo ndio maana leo unaona tuna CEO hapa wa AICC wenyewe anahusika na mikutano yupo kuja ku, ku, kuwakilisha sekta nzima ya mikutano. Kwa hivyo uh, shughuli hii na mafanikio haya tuliyopata ya kupewa nembo hii ya kimataifa ya Safe Travels inaonesha ni namna gani tumepata mafanikio makubwa kwenye kudhibiti kusambaa kwa ugonjwa wa COVID-19. Na hapa kwa namna ya kipekee tunamshukuru sana na kumpongeza Rais Magufuli kwa kuongoza mapambano haya. Hatimaye tumefanikiwa. Majirani zetu walitucheka, walitungonga, walisema kila aina ya maneno. Lakini mwisho wa siku wamekuja kule ambako sisi tuliingia miezi mitatu iliyopita. Na kwa sababu kisayansi kama kujifungia ndani kulikuwa kunasaidia maana yake wasingepata ongezeko la cases kwenye nchi yao. Lakini leo ndio cases zinaongezeka. Na leo sasa ndio wanafungua na biashara. Maana yake nini? It's counterproductive. Kwa hiyo wamejifungia, wameharibu uchumi wameharibu maisha ya watu kijamii lakini mwisho wa siku wamekuja kujifungulia wao wenyewe wameanza tena kufanya shughuli kama sisi kwa hivyo sisi maana yake rais wetu aliona mbali sana kabla yao na ndio maana sisi hatukujifungia na, na, na kwa heshima hiyo na kwa uongozi huu madhubuti ambao mheshimiwa rais ameutoa kwenye mapambano haya dhidi ya covid 19 ninadhamiria kwenda kumkabidhi hiki cheti cha safe travels Mheshimiwa Rais kwenye siku ambayo atapanga kwa sababu kimsingi yeye ndio sura ya nchi yetu na yeye ndiye mwakilishi wa Watanzania wote ambao wamefaidika na uongozi aliyoutoa kwa hivyo hii nembo kwa niaba ya wananchi wote wa Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania tutamkabidhi Mheshimiwa Rais Dr. John Pombe Joseph Magufuli kama heshima ambayo anastahili kwa kutufikisha kwenye mafanikio haya kwa hivyo nilipenda niliseme hilo kwa lugha ya mama ili uh, tuelewane vizuri. Asanteni sana kwa kuja, asanteni sana kwa kunisikiliza na tuitumie nembo hii ipasavyo. Tupige kelele kweli kweli, dunia nzima wajue kwamba Tanzania ni salama na kwa sasa hivi sisi tunawahofia wageni kuliko sisi wenyewe. Japo kwa sababu tunataka dola zao, hatuna namna tutawakaribisha lakini tutakuwa tunawataka wanawe mikono, wavae barakoa na masharti mengine. Sisi huku mtaani hakuna haja hata kuvaa barakoa. Tuko salama tunaaminiana tunashikana mikono tunakumbatiana maisha yanaendelea hakuna shida lakini kwa wageni tutakuwa makini kidogo kwa sababu tuna wasiwasi wanaweza wao wakatuletea corona ambayo hapa sisi tumeshapambana nayo na tumefanikiwa kuishinda asanteni sana Asante sana mheshimiwa waziri thank you so much honorable minister The last item that is on our agenda was the vote of thanks. But before we move to that item, Honorable Minister, I wish to disturb you a little bit and ask you to come forward because I was reminded that I've forgotten a very important group of people that I think without them we would not have been here uh, enjoying this event. I have forgotten the people of Tanzania Tourist Board, the family members of Tanzania Tourist Board, the staff that have worked tirelessly. I know yesterday some of us slept here, and this morning they had to take a shower close by and attend this event. So, Madam Devota Mdachi, uh, our leader and our patriot in this um, family of TTB, please come forward so that we can have representatives of um, staff of uh, TTB those committee members, but also whoever that is close by, even if you're not in the committee. Please come forward so we can take a group picture with the minister to symbolize, yes. Deputy Minister, please, Mwenyekiti, Dr. Nzuki. Ladies and gentlemen, these young boys and girls, uh, ladies and gentlemen, old, young, all of them here at TTB, they've worked so hard together to complete this event of today including myself by the way so i'm going to move to the picture two groups okay two groups let's do two groups 
Naam, no, mtazamaji wa Tanzania. So, well, yes, Mheshimiwa Waziri Hamisi Kubangala, uh, Waziri wa Maliasili na Utalii akipata picha uh, na wafanyakazi wa, wa bodi ya utalii Tanzania na naona pale jipanga tayari kabisa kupata picha na Waziri. Okay, I'll have from Musa Uh, wafanyakazi hawa ndio wamefanya uh, hafla hii imeweza kufanyika siku ya leo na wamefanya kazi kwa bidii na kufanya uh, Tanzania pia iwe katika moja ya nchi ya vivutio na iliyopewa muhuri wa self travel kutoka uh, Uingereza Next group please Thank you so much. Before you leave, before you leave, sponsors, all the sponsors, all the sponsors. Asante Nix TV, now it sponsors Tanzania National Parks, Tanzania Wildlife Management Authority, Tanzania Forest Service, TFS, Ngorongoro Conservation Area Authority, Event and Exhibition Services, True Vision Production Limited, Serena Hotels, Kilimanjaro Audiovisual Services, Seashells Millennium Hotel, Revolution Events, Perfect Cleaning Services, Eden Catering, and last but not least, AG AS Group for printing our folders and SOPs. These are our sponsors who in kind have contributed a lot of the things that are here today. And we wish to recognize them, Honorable Minister and distinguished um, frontliners that without them, this event will not have been a success. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for them. Thank you so much. Now I wish to call upon Mr. Richard Rugimbana for a vote of thanks. Mr. Rugimbana, your podium. Mimi na kazi moja tu kwa maana ya kutoa neno la shukurani. Na naamini wakati tunatoa neno la shukurani basi itakuwa ni safe stay kwa jina muda mchache tu. Honorable Dr. Miski Gwangala, Minister, Minister of Natural Resources and Tourism. Honorable Constantine Kenyasu, Deputy Minister and the Minister of Natural Resources and Tourism, Ambassadors and Representatives or foreign representative. Dr. Lois Nzuki, Permanent Secretary in the Ministry. Honorable Judge Thomas Mihayo, Chairman of the Tanzania Tourism Board. Ms. Devota Mdachi, Managing Director of the Tanzania Tourist Board. Tourism stakeholders, journalists, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. On behalf of members of the Tourism Confederation of Tanzania and the Hotel Association of Tanzania and all tourism stakeholders, I would like to thank Honorable Judge Mihayo, Chairman of TTB, for inviting us to come and participate in receiving the Safe Travel Seal from the World Travel and Tourism Council. On a very special note, I would like to express our gratitude to the Fifth Phase Government under the leadership of Honorable John Pombe Magufuli, President of the United Republic of Tanzania, through your ministry, Dr. Miski Gwangala, for continuing to work with the private sector in the whole issue of promoting tourism in Tanzania. We thank the minister for launching the National Standard Operating Procedures, SOPs, in June 2020, which we've been using in our operations and enabling us to increase the confidence of the visitors we serve that Tanzania is certainly safe. I'm pleased to hear that the Tanzania is listed among other countries in the world that have been certified 
to have the authority to use the security seal along with the Tanzania Unforgettable logo. Honorable Minister, we promise to make a good use of this seal in our efforts to grow our economy and achieve a high economy level. Our request to our government is that, as usual, you will continue to cooperate with us and continue to provide us with all the available information that will help us in continuing to serve tourists with the aim of increasing the number of tourists coming to Tanzania. Thus making Tanzania certainly an attraction of all nations in the world. Let me end by thanking you all, Asante Nisana, Tanzania and Forgetable. Another round of applause for Mr. Richard Rugimbana, who is the representative of all the private sector who are being uh, determined or targeted uh, as users, main users of this stamp. Honorable Minister, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, uh, this marks the end of our event today. I did promise you that it will take a little bit before two hours, and we have just concluded it just before that time. So for another round, uh, we thank you for being here, Honorable Minister, for launching this term. And from now onwards, this term is going to be used. I understand Mr. Salam said that another concert of diamond, um, this will be the logo that he's going to use. <laughs> so we thank you so much for that. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, there are refreshments being organized and, um, uh, for, for you guys. But also, members of the press would like to have another interview with uh, our distinguished uh, guest. So please feel free, within the given time, you'll be allocated to do interviews, but don't just focus on the front line. There's also representatives from the hotels, from other private sector, from the management, and also members of the board of Tanzania Tourism Board. So feel free to pick uh, for an appointment to have an interview while you are enjoying refreshments and um, what has been prepared for us. Tanzania Unforgettable. Okay, another round, please. Tanzania Hello, Unforgettable. My name is Gloria Guevara. I am the CEO and President. Thank you so Obici. much for coming. This marks the end. I was Mindy Kasiga, your host for this day, and I hope you have enjoyed. See you next time. Karibuni sana. If we can have the screen uh, videos, please, country videos and all the safety videos. I'm the CEO and President of WTTC, our World Travel Tourism Council. We represent the global private sector. And I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate Tanzania, especially the government, the Minister King Waltala, na mpenzi mtazamaji wa Tanzania Safari Channel huu ndio mwisho wa hafla hii ya uzinduzi wa muhuri wa Safe Travels uh, ambayo imezinduliwa hapa katika ofisi za bodi ya utalii Tanzania um, katika jiji la Dar es Salaam na watu mbalimbali mbali wamehudhuria wakiwemo watu mashuhuri mgeni rasmi alikuwa ni waziri wa maliasili na utalii Dr. Hamisi Kigwangala uh, na ameambatana na watu mbalimbali ikiwemo uh, board of directors wa Tanzania Tourism Board wa uh, watu wa, 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 wa Tanapa ambao pia ni wadau wa utalii hapa Tanzania uh, pamoja na mabalozi wa utalii Tanzania ambao ni wasanii mbalimbali ikiwemo Diamond Platinums na Milen Magese pia uh, alikuwepo Konde Boy ambaye ni Harmonize Huku ni mnyama jamii ya swala anayekula majani pia ni miongoni mwa wanyama waliorodheshwa katika makundi ya viumbe wanaotoweka duniani lakini unapotembelea pori la akiba rukwa utafurahia kuona puku katika mazingira asilia kando ya ziwa
kufanya mazoezi kama hivi ni sehemu ya maisha ya wanyama wenye pembe 